I'm super excited to do this. This is our first live stream with collaboration with uh, with DigitalOcean, and we are going to build one of the applications that were submitted on the Vibe Coders uh, Innovation Corner by Petagra and DigitalOcean. And the app that we're going to be building is a visual dictionary that instantly translates complex English phrases and idioms into illustrative GIFs or images. It was submitted by, by one of the people uh, here. I hope you're watching this. Uh, and this is the prompt. I literally copy pasted the prompt from the input field for the next week. We're doing another stream, so we'll be doing three of these streams. So feel free to submit your app and hopefully uh, we, we build it. Once we build it, you can co use it completely free. It will be open source. First thing that Pythagora does is that it starts building the uh, the specification. I don't think we should use the, the Giphy API. So we can do this. So Giphy is a place for looking up um, like memes and these kind of things, but I don't think the author wanted to do this. We can use AI to generate the image from the sentence. I don't want to use Giphy. I want to use open AI API text to an image. Now it, it is going to rewrite uh, the specification. The image one, the model API name is instead it GPT image one. Okay, we're going to save it. I'm done with the specification. And right now Pythagora goes on to uh, building the front end. All right, and there we go. And this is exactly, exactly what we need. Uh, so we need, you know, an IDM. Okay, this is fine. We're going to fix it. Okay, now let's just fix this. Okay, this looks, oh, again. Hmm. Okay, try again. Let's just fix all this time as well. Also have the dark mode, it's fine. Let's try one more time. It's still it's still not working. I'm not sure why, isn't it? We might want want to still still do this on the back end. Um, okay. All right. Um, so at this moment, this is pretty much it. Um, actually, let's go one more one more time. And if that doesn't work, we'll just go onto the back end. It will will fix it during the back end phase. All right, let's try one more time. Yeah, for some reason it's still it's still doing the same thing. So we're we're going to fix it on the on the back end. The 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 main thing is that we actually have the front end ready. So I can click on done building the UI and go on to the back end phase. So the plan is done. So right now, what what we can do is we can uh, follow Pythagoras' plan. You know, go step by step, creating the models, creating the script, implementing a phrase and all these things. But actually, I want to do it out of the first try because we are on the um, on the stream. Uh, say, say, like, hey, please implement the entire backend, generating a description of the phase that user enters, then generating an image based on that description. On the front end, make sure to show the text one once it's generated and show a loader while we wait for the image. It has implemented the back end. Now it's doing the connection between the front end and the back end. So it says, you know, it's updating search results to show progressive loading. So while we're generating an image, so we have some kind of visual way what is happening. Now, uh, Pythagora has asked us to enter an OpenAI API key. I just added the OpenAI API key. And right now it is running the app. It is testing the app. Right, and this is done with the first iteration. And right now we have this this issue from the uh, from the front end. I just told it uh, when I enter a phrase, I get an error. Search phrase whatnot is not a function. Please fix. Uh, and that's it. So let's just go ahead and see how this how this does. All right, all right. This is looking much 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 better. It is spinning a lot. So, okay. So right now what we can do is we can um, uh, look at the other features that Pythagora has. So for example, one of the things that I always want uh, like, like to look at are the logs. 
So the logs is everything that is happening on the background and everything that Pythagoras is doing. This is good. And let's see, break the ice. But enter. And right now we can actually go into the logs. What I was saying earlier, searching the phrase, uh, go to the back end and we don't see actually anything that's happening. So I just told it there are some issues on the back end happening. I have no idea what is this. The real problem is that the API requests are not reaching the backend, which I think it, it is true because if we see the logs, uh, we don't see anything here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, go back to this step. So what you can always do is you can always restore the previous step and just edit what you wanted to say the backend is hanging. finishes, I want to restart the app. So we, we test it out. Let's try it out. Okay. 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 So as you can see, we are getting some things on the back end right now. Oh, all right. There we go. We have it. Piece of cake. Um, I'm just going to try that one. So we have this nice loader. Oh, what's happening right now? But it just worked. Or maybe piece of cake. Huh. Why did break the ice work? So actually, so we have the break the ice working but the other ones are not working for whatever reason not sure why this is happening but i just told it when i tried break the ice everything worked but when i tried other phrases i get errors not sure why is that and also what i want to do what i think that the author uh, wanted is not to uh, visually show breaking the ice like this but rather to show this in the image. So we're going to fix that in our next iteration. One of the things that you can always do is you can always open up um, your application in another tab so you can see how it looks in the browser itself. Let's maybe try this. Oh, oh okay. So basically what happened is when we got an error, it was working. In the background, everything was generated but uh, just showing it on the front end wasn't working. So I would assume, so this might take. All right, so this is some very interesting, interesting hammer. All right, well, the, <laughs> this is also an, a very, a very interesting hammer. So she is nailing the, the <laughs> We have finally a few few things. So basically, we have a full screen working. Okay, let's just try download. Okay, so we have a few things that are that are missing here. What we need to fix is we we want the the image to actually be done from from this definition. Okay, so I don't think the f oh it, it does it does. So we have the favorites. Share this phrase with others. Nice. Sharing also works. So basically you copy this. We're actually going to remove this whole part. And yeah, I think after that, we should be completely done. And there we go. We have final few, few minor issues to, to fix, to change. And let's now see how it does. So right now it should theoretically uh, work. let's 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 see let's see how it does so what that means is to accidentally uh, reveal a secret so let's let's see it. okay so <laughs> so it's still letting the cat out of the bag 
uh, but it's still it's still it's still uh, creating uh, the image based on that. So I think we'll have to do one more iteration. All right. Uh, the image is still showing the actual phrases. I don't want that. Yeah. So this is the the final thing. Oh, downloading the image. Oh shoot! I should have. Should have tried it. Let's see if downloading works. And downloading does work. Cutting corners. Let's see how this this does. Cutting corners. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so this is actually it. And this is actually it. All right. Uh, it, it is harder to paint a meaning all right, let's see. Let's see this one. Hit the sack. I didn't even know. Hit the sack. That means go to sleep. Go to bed. And okay. Okay. So this is it. This is it. We have created our visual dictionary that enables us to search for phrases or idioms. Like, for example, breaking the ice. We can see uh, what does this definition actually mean? Example usage origin and etymology and the actual images. And the, not only that, we have the recent searches, we have things that we have favoritized, uh, but not only that, the image that is being generated is the image of the actual meaning. So for example, hitting the sack means going to bed and this is what it means. It means going to bed and being sleepy and these kind of things. All right, guys, this is it. I hope you like it. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. And, and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow where I'll be just doing a regular, regular uh, video. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.